Welcome to the fifth module of our chapter, Food and Health. Prevention is better than cure. You might have heard this problem, right? Yes, it is always better to prevent a disease than to treat it. Prevention of communicable diseases. Communicable diseases can be prevented by good hygiene and vaccination. Hygiene may be defined as practices that ensure cleanliness and good health. Following are some steps to maintain good hygiene. Wash your hands before and after eating food and after going to the toilet with soap and water. Do not allow water to stand in ditches, vessels, coolers, pots, etc. in and around your house. Stagnant water allows breeding of mosquitoes. Use mosquito net or mosquito repellent at night. Wash fruits and vegetables well before cooking or eating them. Food must be kept covered to prevent flies sitting on it. Do not allow heaps of garbage to collect near your home. Dustbins should be kept covered. Drink clean water. Water can be made clean and germ free by boiling, filtering and chlorinating. You should know vaccination is another way of preventing communicable diseases. It helps a body to acquire immunity against certain diseases. Vaccines are available to prevent diseases like polio, cholera, etc. Vaccines are very effective in preventing the spread of certain diseases. Children are vaccinated at different ages from the time of birth. People who are vaccinated develop resistance against those diseases. Vaccines are available for diseases like whooping cough, tetanus, polio, plague, rabies and typhoid. In case of an epidemic, the case must immediately be reported to the government health department so as to help them take necessary action to prevent its spread. In case there is a person suffering from a communicable disease, the patient should immediately be shifted to a separate room and must be given separate articles of daily use to avoid direct contact and thereby spread of the disease. Prescribed diet and medicines must be given to the patient on time. All things used by the patient must be washed separately and must also be properly disinfected. Toilets used by the patient must be washed daily with the disinfectant. So, now you know how to prevent the cause and spread of various communicable diseases. We have already discussed different kinds of communicable diseases in the previous modules. There are some signs which will indicate a disease in a person. They are called symptoms. For example, a person who is suffering from cholera will have symptoms like vomiting, dehydration, diarrhea, etc. Watch the modules carefully, read your text and do the following assignments.